Hi and welcome to this Blueprint Markets video update with me John Kibler, Senior Market Analyst. In this video I'm going to take you for the week ahead, I'm going to go over those news and events coming up this week as well as some charts to watch. So let's dive straight in, we're actually kicking it off with quite a bit of uh, decent news this week. We've got Swiss data coming out, CPI month on month, expected to see a little bit of a decline here. But most importantly we've got an RBA rate decision. Uh, looking like forecasts are suggesting that we're going to hold at 4.35% here. Uh, but towards the end of the week is where I think we're going to see most of the action. We've got non-farm payrolls this week. Non-farm payrolls looking for a slight uptick here. Average hourly earnings month on month looking for an increase. And non-farm employment change looking for an increase from 150,000 to 185,000. We do obviously have US data before that. We've got ISM services, PMI, jolt job openings and things like that. But let's head straight over to the strength meter strength meter actually provided quite a few currency pairs to watch this week if you joined us in our live streams you would have seen most of those but what we were looking at really was this euro weakness in the market euro is the blue line here and we can see that it has continued to drive lower there so we're expecting a little bit more euro weakness to come we can see that the australian dollar started to give a little bit back of that gains recently as well although the australian dollar against the us dollar is performing pretty well uh, aussie against other pairs not so much and we can see that the dollar is still the weakest currency at the moment kiwi still on the gain as well expecting that to potentially continue so i quite like the idea of looking at aussie euro weakness kiwi and uh, yen strength yen obviously a currency that has been performing pretty well again as well uh, and the dollar still holding back on that weakness so we still may see that weakness continue going on to the us dollar index we have actually had a little bit more of a bullish week it was a bit of a sort of mixed week for the us dollar we started off with a bit of downside finished with a couple of days of rallying and then again a little bit lower so if we were to look at this from a weekly point of view it looks a little bit like that we are at support at the 103 handle price is technically trading above that at the moment so there is still some opportunity to see the dollar continue to push higher you can see i've just put a minor trend line resistance on there and i think if price trades above that it would signal to me that maybe that buyers were stepping back into the us dollar and we could see a move up to the 104 spot 50. remember the dollar on the strength meter is still in that reversal zone so i am still kind of looking to see if that dollar strength will come back in at some point we may actually return back to the recently formed lows around about the 102 spot 70 area before continuing to kind of push higher at that point so we'll have to see what happens this week obviously a break back below that would signal a move potentially back down into the 102 which were these lows that formed back in august so Moving on from there, we've got Euro US dollar. Euro US dollar found resistance in here at that monthly level that we talked about. We had a zone in play here from that sort of um, one spot one area as well as this monthly volume point at one spot zero nine eight six. We've kind of rejected in that area, seeing quite heavy selling actually coming in on Euro US dollar. But price has recently found support at these daily swing lows at one spot zero eight three three. So if the dollar does weaken this week, I would expect Euro dollar to maybe go and head back towards that key area of support, uh, sorry, resistance at one spot zero nine eight six. If, however, the dollar starts to find that strength, then euro dollar could trade through this key level of 1.0833 and head even lower, perhaps down towards that 1.0720 area. Moving on to Aussie yen then. So Aussie, one of the sort of worst performing currencies last week. Yen, a strengthening currency. I like the idea of potentially seeing this move lower. However, we have seen sort of price rally from this 97 spot 25 handle. And if we look left, it was an area where there was some strong buying in the past. So obviously buyers have come back in at this point. So I'm looking at resistance levels. 98 I can see is obviously a good little area of resistance at the moment. Price struggling to break above that right now. I think if we trade above that, we're going to head towards 98 spot 50. Obviously this would be a great area to see some selling pressure come back in because we We've seen selling come in twice already, so we may get a push back to 98 before a continuation. Alternatively to all that, if we do get the strength meter telling us that there's potential for this market to reverse and we do hold here at the 98, let's say we get another rejection, a break below the 50 moving average would be nice to see as well. And maybe we're going to go retest that 97 spot 25 low. 
Finally then, Euro Yen. Euro Yen was one to watch from last week. We were saying that there's a good possibility that we're going to see downside last week. And we did reject the 163 spot 50. Ended up coming all the way down towards the 159 spot 50 level, which is the sort of next level that looks to be targets or in target for those sellers we can see obviously big support here in the past price rally to the upside so i expect a retest of this 159.50 we'll have to wait to see what happens at that point because if buying does step back in then it might be very short-lived and price may want to go and test that 158 handle so thanks for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it if you did subscribe to our youtube channel to see some more forex trading content i look forward to seeing you in the live streams this week as well and i'll speak to you in the next video